How is it going everybody? My name is Colossal, so welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. I know I've been absent for a little while, but just don't beat me to death. I'm I'm still here, I'm still streaming. If you if you're missing my videos, just honestly, go ahead, check my streams out. They're pretty fun, I would say. I don't know. I guess. I mean I have a few people every day, so and they they enjoy themselves. It's just hard to get new people in. So if you're interested, don't uh don't don't feel shy, just come over and say hi. Actually, that was a good rhyme. I should be a rapper. Anyway, so today, we, as I promised, we, t we will be taking a look at Alarak. Alarak, he just went, not just, but a couple of weeks ago, he went through a very heavy rework in a couple of weeks, a couple of months. Uh, very, very heavy rework. And I promised you guys I would do, uh, I did a video before the rework, and I promised I would do one after. So he went, uh, he went through a very, very heavy rework. I said that for a fucking fifth time. So what, his better, what he is better at right now is what I said was his weak spot before. So he, if he stacks well, he can follow up on this combo, finally. His combo, uh, if you guys didn't know, using his telekinesis to pull people into you, into the embrace of your Discord strike. But... Um, yeah, he's much better at that, and he did not lose any of the usability and the utility he had before. I think he only has it even more, and I'll show you guys how. Hopefully, this is going to be a better game than the last one. <laughs> and let's take a look at Alarak. Finally. All right, boys and girls, we find ourselves on my favorite map in the video game. Dragon Shayar. I don't think this is how you say it, but I was Scottish for a second and I said Dragon Shayar. I'm just gonna stop. Uh, Extend Lightning will be our choice of a talent at level 1. What it's gonna do? Very, very long talent. After hitting 5 heroes in the middle of your E, you increase its range by 20%, which is huge. Uh, gives him a crazy, crazy poke. I'm gonna go top lane to solo. After hitting 15 heroes, you will basically slow people for 2 seconds. This is where the utility I was talking about comes from. And that's after hitting 15, 15 people in the middle, and then after hitting 3 people in the middle with one single one, you will gain all of the rewards uh, previously, so the, after 5, after 15, and also you, you will gain back the 10 sadism that it basically takes away from you. Your sadism is your trait. It basically allows you to heal, uh, sorry, to deal more damage to heroes by just, um, by, uh, with your abilities. It's not auto attacks, it's just abilities. I'm going to be watching middle so I don't get ganked. So I'm not going to get ganked, looks like uh, Nazibo will come here and will try to do his damage. I'm going to actually back off because we don't see Lunara anymore. Um, but um, yeah, so that's his E is called Lightning Surge. It allows me to poke at the enemies. It, it will heal me for the damage the, uh, for a little bit of the. It's not actually the percentage damage anymore. It used to be percentage damage. Now it's just uh, just a little bit of damage every single. I think I think it scales up with the level as well. So okay, uh, that, <laughs> that gank attempt was the worst gank attempt I've seen ever. Okay, maybe not ever, but in a long time. Uh, it allow me, it's, a, it's basically a point and click ability like that, uh, but if I hit people in the middle of it, he should be dead, I think. Actually, no, he's not. Close, very close. You can see I will deal more damage and heal for more also, uh, but also gain that stack that I was talking about. Oh, baby, that's a double right there. I don't know if you saw that, but I think I'm going to have a replay. <laughs> lucky all day, baby. I'm lucky all day. Baby, just just leave. Just go middle, help them, and I'll be fine right here. Uh, honestly, he did not lose any of the ability that he has uh, to solo lane, honestly. I'm trying to get the stack, brother. Smooth! Oh, I thought I'm gonna pull him towards me, it's fine. Chaos Reigns will be my talent of choice at level 4. Very similar, um, very similar 
uh, it's questing talent to our level four, but it's for our Q ability. Uh, you have to hit five people. I think it's no, sorry, it's fifteen people to increase his damage by fifty. Um, they're they're missing. Uh, 15 people to get 50 damage, uh, two heroes with a single uh, aura, with a single Q uh, to increase by by another 50, and then if you hit three people, you get the previous two bonuses. Kerrigan's coming. <laughs> I love playing people. It's so fun. So fun to help people with with Alarak. I mean, if Genji wasn't there, I would have died. That's that's for sure. But just because he was there, I was able to get some good value by Dell. Anyway, yeah. So when you hit three people with a single Q, you will be gaining the previous two bonuses and additional like 80 damage or something, which is just nuts. So we have to um, we have to focus on stacking this. This should be one the tough start, but looks like we don't get any follow up from our Genji. That's fine just because we will make him back anyway. So what I'm going to try to do right now is just jump onto the objective. You too. Just block yourself, my friend. No way he's in the finishing, brother. No way. Anyway, so what our Q is, it's a skill shot in front of us. It silences people and deals heavy damage, uh, and you, you can only make it heavier. Honestly, uh, we're gonna go for a hindered motion here. I'm gonna explain what it does in a second. Um, <clears throat> it's basically a, a very, very vital part of our combo, which just does a crazy amount of damage. I thought he was in, in that push, that's why I followed up straight away. So let's use our E to clear this wave. No, not clear it, but just kind of make it weaker for it so I can clear it later. Um, I could gank middle, and I think that's not, I think that's what I'm, what I'm gonna do, just because uh, Nazebo came to kind of give us a sub heal. Um, I'm on my way here to this guy again. I'm gonna get the stack, get away. By the way, it, the our W ability is ability is telekinesis. Okay, he's gonna actually be afraid of the combo. He's just gonna get out of there straight away. Okay. Um, right, sorry, go again. Q, silences and deals damage. Okay, I mean, she's, she didn't even hit me. She just killed her fucking this Nazebo by pulling me back. Uh, so fun. Nazebo's in a little bit of trouble, but she will be okay. I just saw a shield on... Oh, Lori. I missed. In bad, in bad boys. She can kite me, like, forever, so... Unless I can combo her. Then she's gonna cut me forever. <clears throat> oh, go, Genji. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, you, you suck. <laughs> he doesn't suck. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so deals damage, silences. Uh, very, very good ability. Again, just m m bread and butter of his combo, and also the bread and butter of his follow up, which I was talking about before. You know. So we have to we have to make sure to stack it very very well. I'm not stacking my E very well, so I should be doing that a little bit better. I'll, that's what I'll try to do. Like Lunara is just pushing the crap out of middle right now. Um, our W's are telekinesis allows us to push people or push ourselves in a certain direction. Um, there we go, a little bit of damage on her. You can see a single Q without even like fully stacked just does so much damage. You're gonna go, go for counter strike first. Oh shit, I just put myself out of position. Oh, I ah, you, you don't know that. I know that it actually stops, it stops this. There's a silence. It's not gonna result in a kill, but still a very, very good attempt. I'm gonna try to get the stack. There we go. So uh, as, you, as you saw, I hit Tassadar. Just so I can get the stack on the on the Nazebo. Boom! Oh crap! Oh crap! Thank you, thank you, Abatur. Maybe we just saved you. How do you feel? She good. She feeling good right now. 
I did the camp somehow, I'm not sure how, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna basically push people and also deal a little bit of damage, but this damage is not gonna be anything significant. Um, right. So, again, we're not stacking to the best of our ability, I feel like. Try to clear this bottom. Looks like the enemy team, I think, will get the D-Knight this time, though. Uh, there's no poke. Uh, Genji was there a little... Oh, Genji actually got there just in time, allowing us to actually stall the dragon. It looks like the Genji does fall, though. I don't know. He has a shit ton of... Oh, okay, but I'm sorry. But you're gonna fall. Well, I didn't have anything. Oh my god. Got her! Last hit. I don't, I'm lucky, I feel. Oh, she wants me. She wants me so bad. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Right, so at level 10 we picked up Counter-Strike, which makes me invulnerable, basically, for the, for one second. And if I take... Oh, it's, not, it's not invulnerable, it's protected and unstoppable. And then, if I do uh, take indeed damage during that one second, it is going to... I will basically explode in front of me for a little bit of damage. Uh, that's actually... That gives me two stacks, that's crazy, I think. Let's go for right frag shear here. Explain that in a second. Oh, it was two stacks just because of... Oh, crap moly. Oh, rip. Got him. Push! Exploded! Fuck out of here, brother. Uh, so you can see, you can use it for peeling. As, uh, as you guys see, I didn't do the best job there. I probably could have peeled for our chain of there, but... And we're gonna try to apply our right of rock shear to. Oh, there's the two. There's a two stack um, quest right there. Tastar a little bit of trouble, but he looks like he will be able to get away. Yes, yeah, so basically that's that's my counter strike level 13 is right of rock shear. I can apply it to a person, and then if I auto attack them, I will increase my sadism by a little bit, and if I hit my Q on them, it's going to increase by a little bit as well. So three with a discard strike. Oh no, no, it's no, not basic attacks. So it's just discard strike and um, and killing them. So killing them give me it gives me five percent, and um, hitting my Q gives me three percent. So honestly, like if you can if you can mark them and then combo them, that's already three percent towards your ability damage, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. And you know, then killing them. Most likely in the Hero League scenario or, or competitive scenario, will result in 5%, so that's 8%. So you can see how that stacks up pretty well. That lasts, I think, for like 300 seconds or something. I need some help over here. Gonna mark her. That's gonna be uh, one stack already. Let's expose for some damage, but I'll, I will be taken out here. That was a little bit too ballsy. Um, Tazar took a lot of damage. Not sure what we're doing bottom right now. I think it's just AFK. I think, we, I think we just AFK pushing bottom, it's just like Hanamura. This is this is Hanamura, boys. New Hanamura, actually the old Hanamura. <laughs> um, yeah, so I feel like he has a very similar playstyle to what was before, but he has a little bit more follow up if he decides to stack. Of course, I'm stacking. I'm trying my best, but we say it's not working out for us. This actually sucks because it doesn't, doesn't tell me which I finished. Okay, I finished the the two hero stack. Current bonus 50. So I still need, need the three bonus. Uh, and uh, no more. We're gonna go for lethal onslaught here. This is gonna increase our auto attack damage when we um, uh, when we hit some when we hit a hero with a Q. Now we should probably group up. Just have a good fight. Don't really care about bottom. Bottom is gonna go down anyway. Just kill this freaking Kerrigan. That's that's all I care about right now. We can push this. We can push. We can kind of push their 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 bottom. Okay, Sonya's bottom. I'm waiting, Kerrigan. I'm waiting for you. Boom! 
Whoosh! Look at his damage! They don't know what's going on right now. Oh, he just juked us. That's fine, I'm, just, I'm still gonna kill you. RIP TEAM! Okay, Sonya is still bottom somewhere. That's the small top here. Let's not get too overexcited. So you can see, very very good construct just can just turn the tides of battle like that. Nazebo just got bursted, along with the Lunara right there. And that was just so much damage. And uh, we were able to burst down the both of them, and then later the Tusdar was just helpless right, right there. I'm not, I don't know why somebody didn't stay top. I'm gonna start making my way over there just because we can. Uh, two people should go over there. Two people. Okay, I'll go. Should kill that bitch straight away. Oh god, he just got engaged on. I think he should be fine though. I think he's gonna kill her. Rip. Okay. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. Run! Slow, 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 slow. Nice! Very nice! I like it. 118% damage. Oh, very good, very good discourse, uh, sorry. Boosh! Dude, he, he just exploded! I'm sorry, but that Nazeba just exploded to pieces right there. Okay, we, we are able to grab, grab the first D9 of the game. Go, babe. Uh, we, did, we were able to finish stacking our, uh, our first part of our Q, uh, Q uh, quest. So we will begin this for get bottom four as well. Bottom four, bottom four, bottom bottom four. Let's go for level twenty. Um, let's show you guys last laugh. I feel like I've not shown this enough. This has changed. This basically is at bolt now, and this used to just reduce straight up just reduce your, your health to one. But now, if you don't hit three people with your abilities within three seconds, then you will reduce your health. So it's a good, it's still a good, a good escape. I feel like I, f I feel like it's still a very, very good escape. That's a very good silence and a kick. That's fine. Five hundred attack, not not attack. Five hundred uh, an auto attack. Just be careful. The Sonya's gonna be coming from top. Just bail. We've done enough. We we got the tower and we got two forts, which is just crazy. We are level twenty. So after this is gone, we just we just get a lot of a lot of value. Those stars will be clearing, it's fine. Oh my low! Oh lordy, I, I would have went forward, but oh no, bad. Very good, very good, bad. I mean, I am, I'm gonna be one health, I don't care, because I'm still gonna live, right? So you, you can see I'm one health, it's gonna back. It's gonna back right now, Genji's just fucked. <laughs> oh god, we should kill Kerrigan, okay! He made it worth. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh, Lord. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice jump. Nice E. He is fine and dandy. And he's just gonna be kill. Nice, Jabari. Jabari. Got him. Oh, good. In the hood. I'm gonna go for this um, camp right here. Get some push going. Honestly, did you guys see the damage? Uh, I'm not sure who it was. I blew up somebody. I think it was Nazebo. Oh no, sorry, it was Tastar. I blew up Tastar. That damage is because we stack not fully, but we we get hundred more damage on our Q. It's just where the burst comes from. And honestly, again, if you take your time to time to stack and you get a little bit lucky on you know on just stacking those three people in a single Discord strike, you will be just chunking. Not even just you know just squishes, but even tanks will will feel you. Um, there was a game which I practiced for. Oh god, I'm coming, but he's dead, I think. Run for your life! I think I yeah I did it. So there you go. You, you see, I I used the blink. It's a small. It's only thirty seconds. It's crazy, and it's also pretty fun because it actually can be used for engages now as well, which is super, super good. Um, I I went in, I hit that Lunara three times, actually two times, and then uh, Tastar for the third time with my E. So basically, if you hit your your, if you actually hit people once with all of your abilities besides your heroic, you're fine. 
Like nothing is gonna nothing is gonna hit you. And by the way, the the counter strike will not work with the last lap, so it will still reduce your health even if you counter strike um, in in the middle. In the middle, uh, right before you re reduce your health, and when you counter strike, it's still gonna re it's still gonna reduce your, reduce your health. Yes, I tried that already. I know it's pretty stupid, but there you go. That's what I did. <laughs> just, just just push a middle. Just push a middle. Don't be don't be afraid. Gonna miss that. So just go for the things. Okay, there's a Kerrigan. I don't care about the Kerrigan. Kill that fucking wall. That wall is that wall is dead as it. That wall is dead if. Okay, the enemy team going in here. Um, hmm. I really want to go in, but I don't think I can. Maybe I can. Boosh! A lot of damage on the enemy team. I'm. I. I will not be reduced to. Um, to. Uh, oh, uh. oh, she blinked right, right below, right, right behind me. Very, very good by the enemy Kerrigan. She will not be taken out by my Q, which would have taken her out, but. Dude, is he gonna kill him or no? He's right here. Oh my god. This chain this Abathur. <sighs> he had the chance to make it an even trade, but he decided to not do that. He decided just to, you know. She's dead, right? No, the spooter's just missing just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh Honestly, that Abathur just messed up. He uh, he should have killed that Tustar 100%. I'm not sure where were his abilities. I know his E is on a very short cooldown, as, as much as his Q is. So anyway, it was still my bad. I messed up the combo. I I, I basically last laughed forward. I messed up the combo, and then I had to panic, uh, panic R to save myself from dying, which isn't fun. So I basically did not have all my abilities to my disposal whenever they were needed, um, even though it wasn't a good engage. So it was my bad. I know that, and as long as I know that, it's going to be, it's going to help me grow in the future. Uh, Tastar is just soloing top right now. That actually looks really, really good for us. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blink you so hard, you're not even gonna see. That's fine. Oh, you messed up, brother! You did! Alright, feed, feed. 100% feed. Report him for feeding. I mean, at, th at this point in the game, nobody should be alone. That's what, that's all I'm saying. Um, sure, we could do that. Let's do that. Let's let's help our Ganjai. By the way, if you guys have your your own builds, just post them down in the in the uh, below. Like you, you can post a link. I I, I am uh, a believer that uh, uh, what's the name? Heroes Heroes Hearth is actually a very very good platform. I'm a believer of that platform. So if you have any if you have any builds, build them on there and post a link down below in the description. And so I can I can take a look at them and just kind of give you a feedback or just just try them in the video maybe in the future. On my way here, uh, it's gonna be a four v five if our Nazebo gets here. Uh, he's gonna miss the spooters. I'm under a lot of pressure. I'm gonna actually be out here. He's gonna r remove all of the. Oh god, this is just one health. No, babe. Run. Oh, the shield! The shield is clutch! The shield saves, and I do get the trade on the Lunaris. So now we're going to be making our way back. Look at this. I'll pay to see this, this shit all day. Nazebo versus Nazebo. Oh, okay, R1 is losing. Okay, I would not pay to do it. <laughs> I'm away. We can definitely do this. It's a, it's a 5v2 situation right at this moment. I messed up. I messed this up. Boom! Blew the fuck up. He's not even here. DLL, uh, Nazibo.DLL missing, error 404, got him all. Oh, now somebody needs to go middle. Baby, you, you're up for it? Let's finish this game. Oh, Toss Derp. Toss Derp. Toss Derp. Hi, Toss Derp. He's here. I think. No, he went up. Oh, he went for the increased um, duration, right? Yeah, he went for the increased duration by 50%. Pretty smart, though. Pretty smart. 
Alright, so this is pretty good for us. He did use his uh, dimensional shift, so he's not gonna have that. I'm gonna go in here. Oh god, I missed. I'm bad. She's gonna go in. I'm gonna try to... No, lost love! No! <laughs> I thought Kerrigan is gonna stay. I was greedy, I thought Kerrigan is gonna stay. No. And then and then I got killed by the splash, but we're still gonna win the game. Very, very good job, baby. You played super well. Everybody played well. But my baby especially. I fed at it at the end, but What's fun without feeding, you know? There's no fun without feeding. And we get the end. Good job, everybody! Right, so you can see, he, he doesn't really change that much, he's still okay in the solo lane, not as good though, because his healing was reduced, but um, he's still okay in the solo lane, he still, mm, he's just better right now at almost everything that he does. Um, we're gonna go over the build again, by the way. Top damage, I wasn't expecting that, I thought either Jaina or Genji are gonna have top damage, excuse me. Um, I'm actually wondering, he actually did go for... Tip shift and it's not a bad talent at all. I don't think it's a bad talent. It's, it gives him pretty much like a free escape. It's almost like a blink on a 20 something second cooldown, which is pretty good. Whatever. Uh, we're here to talk about Alarak, and there we go. So, Extended Lightning, again, just this stupidly long quest that I did not finish. I mean, I finished the, the, the initial part, but I did not finish the three hitting, hitting three heroes. I'm just not good at doing that yet. I will pro practice it and try to play that more in Hero League whenever I play uh, on the stream. But uh, it's something that I have to practice. Basically, just just focusing on hitting behind heroes to get that three hit. But yeah, this is the, the talent, talent to go. I did try Ruthless Momentum. Not that good. You're not, you're not gonna spend a lot of your life above 80% besides. This is good for like uh, for laning a phase against somebody who's weak in the soul lane. So if you have a weak soul lane against you, sure, sure, ruthless momentum makes sense, but then you're gonna lose value in late game, which extended lightning just gives you just so much value. Sustaining power just doesn't give you enough healing, I feel. Um, his healing now gives him a straight up just a number. It used to give him like percentage of the damage he dealt, so that was better. Um, honestly, 40% of 70 is what? Like 30? So it gives him 100 heal. Besides, you know, and rather than 70. And if you're going for this talent, it's not going to increase your damage, but it's going to increase your utility with that damage. You know, it's, you're going to be basically hitting heroes at more range because it's 20% increased range, and you're going to be slowing them uh, if they were hit in, in, in the middle. So it's it's crime control, it's damage, it's self-sustain, obviously really good talent here. Didn't go for any of these talents. I know a lot of people did try this negatively charged, but Chaos Rain is just so good. Um, hitting heroes with your discard strike is your quest, and then 15 heroes to give you 50, 50 damage. Hitting two heroes with a single one, which is what we did, it gives you 50 damage, so we had 100, and then hitting three heroes gives you additional 80, so almost a double of previous two, and will give you all the instant, will give you all the instantly, instantly will give you all the previous rewards. It's a new type of new type of questing talent, and I like it a lot. I like this design where you risk it to get biscuit, um, and I find find this talent just a little bit too fun to to pass up. Show force is not bad. Heroes hit with three of Alaric's abilities within two seconds, take an additional 77. This scales up pretty nicely in the late game, but I still think that Chaos Range just takes it. Just so much damage in the air. Uh, negatively charged, it was nerfed. It used to give you like I think 5% additional damage every time you hit somebody, which would be just crazy. But we're gonna we're just gonna stick with the, the chaos range right now. Uh, level 7 was hindered motion. I like this town a lot. Gives you a little bit of crowd control. And at no cost, you know, no sadism, no range cost, no anything, just straight up 25, uh, 25 slow for two seconds. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, this is good also. Uh, actually, super, super strong. I just feel, I just felt like we needed to, you know, a little bit more CC on the team. 
Um, this is not that good anymore just because it also increases your range, so it's kind of it's kind of awkward. It, it, it throws my combo so off, but I see how people could use it. So all of those are good. Probably this is number one, two, and three, but I just I just felt like we need a little bit more CC on that uh, in that situation. Counter Strike is the I think the better one to go at level ten just because you need that little bit of survivability you get through that second of being protected and unstoppable. And then also the, the burst damage, you saw how many people just blew the fuck up after I pressed my R button in the right situation, of course. Level 13, we did go, we did go for Right of Rock Shear. We didn't use it too much, though. I need to, I need to work on that. I need to work on uh, just maximizing my Right of Rock Shear kind of uh, value. Um, so, hitting a marked hero with Discord Strike increases the savings by 3, killing the marked hero increases the savings by 5, and lowers the cooldown of Right of Rock Shear to 10 seconds which okay so like basically if somebody dies with the right of rock shear you pretty much be able to cast it straight away almost after almost straight away after um on a different hero i mean it's not straight away but it's 10 seconds so it's very very bad season gained from a right of rock shear is lost on death so you have to take care not to die and just remember to apply it just because i just did not remember to apply it um, I didn't get as much value, so as, as long as you remember, you're fine with this. A Blade of High Lord, I like this talent a lot. Uh, it gives you a lot of um, a lot of damage, a lot of unexpected damage. People don't expect uh, him to hit, to hit like 600 upwards with the auto attack after he gets this to 30% and also gets the lethal onslaught. It's pretty cray cray. Um, I just that's why I like this combo. But I I still I still like this talent. Pure Malice is still doable if you know if you have your your quick match team or your Helic team that dies a lot and you want to carry the game, probably Pure Malice is the way to go. Um, but I just like the right rock shield the best, probably the most kind of skillful and like depending on yourself rather than on anybody else. Level 16, I, I did go for Lethal Onslaught. This first strike uh, hitting enemy hero will give me 50% of Sadism damage bonus. Alarax basic attacks for 4 seconds. So basically, this is 100% dependable on my level. Of my uh, of my sadism, so the the higher sadism, the more damage you're gonna get here. And honestly, he can hit like fucking truck 600 plus if you stacked well and you have a lot of sadism in the late game. Uh, level 20, we did go for the last laugh, but obviously the recharge is still an awesome awesome ability. Just think I I think that last laugh also gives you a very very good escape as well. So, uh, but again, you saw that kind of like a uh, risk it to get the biscuit kind of situation at the end. You know, I blinked in, I didn't get the three hits. You basically have to get the three hits within within, within four seconds, um, and then you won't be reduced. But just because I didn't, I missed all of my uh, abilities, and I got killed by the splash from uh, from the coach. It's pretty funny. So that's it. Again, I don't claim to be the best player in the world. This is just a very, very kind of overall showcase of Alarak. I didn't play him too much from the uh, since he was reworked. So again, I just cannot give you like the, the best gameplay ever. And of, of course, it's quick match. So you know, some of the things are still gonna uh, are gonna influence my play. So anyway, thank, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave that like button. Right? If you haven't already subscribed to the subscribe to the channel. If you didn't like the video, leave that dislike button and tell me why you didn't like it. If, was I speaking too fast? Was I spit? I don't know. Was I just speaking badly? Was there background noise? Was there bad gameplay? I don't know. Just tell me. Honestly, I can live off of, of the feedback that I get. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll, I'll get back into the swing of things and releasing video uh, almost uh, three videos a week. And see you guys next time.